Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for Valheim. It's really simple. So you want to be heading over to nexusmods.com slash about slash vortex. Once you arrive here, you will see this page. If you're not already registered with Nexus Mods, go ahead and register by just clicking the register button. I've already done it. It takes about two minutes. Okay, now that you're signed in, you want to be back on this page, nexusmods.com slash about slash vortex. You want to be clicking on this. Click download the latest version now. So you click that and it'll bring you to this page. What you want to do is make sure you're clicking on this tab here where it says files, manual download of vortex or the custom installation. Now this is down to you. If you want to install it somewhere separate to where it's going to be installed by default, you can select the manual custom installation file. It's totally up to you. I personally went with uh, manual download. If, if you've got premium, obviously you want to go fast. I've already got this file. Once you have the file downloaded, you'll have this file here. You just want to double click it and install it. I'm not going to go through that process because I've already got it installed. Okay, so once you've installed Vortex from the Nexus Mod Manager website, like I showed you, you want to be going over to the game section on the left hand side. Where it says search for a game, you search Valheim, and Valheim will appear here. You want to be hovering over the image and click manage. You're going to be prompted the install extension now for the Valheim. So you're going to be going ahead and downloading that. Vortex will restart. Now it's going to tell you that you need to download some more files for unstripped assemblies. You want to be clicking that and a new, uh, new Nexus Mods page will open up for you. You want to just click on the Files tab, go down to Mod Manager Download, click that, click Slow Download if you've got Free, Fast Download if you've got Premium. If it doesn't download automatically, you can just click here and then it'll do it for you. Now this is telling me I've already got it. Because I've already got these installed, but I'm going to go ahead and overwrite everything. This green box up here, once you've downloaded it, you just want to click install. I want to update all my profiles. You won't have to do that if you haven't got it installed already. And then you just want to go ahead and enable. So now that you've got them two files installed and enabled on the Vortex client, you want to be going to the Nexus Mods website, which is nexusmods.com, and make sure you're logged in. And in the top search bar, you just want to search Valheim. Okay. And then this is going to bring up all of the Valheim mods. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the magnifying glass, and it's going to bring up all of the mods on one web page so you don't have a list. I'm going to pick some ones which I like. So once you've found a mod that you want, I'm going to install, reinstall the better UI mod. I'm going to go ahead and click that and then go to files. Now, if you're manually installing some files for Valheim, you will need dependencies. So if you click on requirements, it'll tell you them that you need Bebinex. But this is for if you're manually downloading, you should have Bebinex. I'm not going through the manual install process. I'm going through the mod manager. So we're going to go ahead and download. I already have it, but let's go ahead anyways. Install all, update all profiles, and let's go ahead and enable that. And we are good. So now you're ready to launch Valheim. For me, it says five mods active. It'll look different for you because I have some of the mods active also. We're going to go ahead and go to the dashboard, and then we're just going to hover over the image. Or you can click this little play symbol here, which is run. So once you've clicked that run, so if you're doing a manual install though, you've got to install Bebinex. It's in like a command launcher. It'll appear on the screen. It'll run in the background. So you just ignore that if you've done the mod installer. So let's open up Valheim. So now you're going to start seeing a couple of things different. First of all, on my main survival world, Zero PvP kills because it's not a PvP world. I've had 14 deaths. I've crafted 1,257 items. And I've built over 3,500 objects. Sorry, 35,308 objects. So you're going to see a couple of things that are different here. But I'm going to focus on more on the mod I installed for the purpose of this video. Just to show you the better UI a little bit better. As you can see across the bottom of the screen, you can see a yellow bar. That is your experience bar. In your inventory, you will see the stars above your items of your, your current rank of them, which is quite nice. So let's just recap what we've covered here for installing the mod. You've signed up to the Nexus Mod website. You've downloaded Vortex from the Nexus Mods website. Then you've 
installed the required files you need and now for the purpose of this video you've installed better ui which requires you to install bepinex which automatically installs with the nexus mod manager but if you're using manual you have to manually install bepinex which i haven't covered in this video i've only covered using the nexus mod manager if you found this video helpful at all leave a like on the video comment down below and subscribe to the channel